<clears throat> okay. Fantastic. <clears throat> the microphone's right over here. My name, my name is Andrew Parodi. I come from uh, Daly City, California. I joined the Marine Corps in uh, March of 44 mm. and uh, <clears throat> went to, uh, instead of going to Camp Pendleton, I went to, uh, I went to uh, uh, Air Corps Base in Santa Ana, El Toro Marine Corps Base, and then was assigned, was assigned to uh, the dive bomber squadron, a hell diver squadron in uh, El Toro and uh, <clears throat> We had also the uh, Dauntless Dive Bomber. And the uh, story about, about dive bombing in war, World War II is this, is that uh, the dive bomber, it changed the whole scheme of things in the Pacific Theater. And that was because the, um, everything, surface vehicle, safer ships, were vulnerable to attacks, carriers, Battleships, any type of ship was, you could uh, bet the Japanese with the kamikaze would, you know, and, and also Pearl Harbor for sure. So our job was as we crossed the Pacific from the Marshall Islands across to Saipan, Tinian, Iwo Jima, Okinawa, and then on to the invasion of Japan. So. The dive bomber squadron we were in, we would just follow the Marine Corps line company wherever they went. We'd follow them, and once we we uh, they took one island, we would take over and we bomb all the bypass islands as we went across the Pacific, so there wouldn't be any rear action. So, as we just all the way, all the way to uh, Okinawa, and then we're on to the. Uh, onto the invasion of Japan, which never came about, but uh, one little incident that uh, came up is that in July of 45, I was, uh, I was an air crewman for the dive bomber, and uh, they had us come back to our home base, and what they did was, I was an aircraft mechanic, so-called, and they said, you're no longer an aircraft mechanic, in the Marine Corps, you're now an infantryman, period. So take your M1, and they put us on a landing ship and onto the invasion of Japan, and they, we went up to what's now the Kareli Islands, and the Russians still have it way up north. And we were told we had to take this air base in, in, Rus in uh, Japan, and the point was uh, the, the odds for survival may have been 5% going in because they were, they were waiting for us. Everybody was waiting for us. And the thing was, on both sides, you, if, it, if it ever came to be the uh, invasion and all, I think the amount of casualties, insurmountable. On both sides. I mean, we, I felt all the time that we should have uh, bombed Japan into submission and not use our ground forces. Uh, that's too many casualties. You know, one a one a bomb is enough. You know, Japan Japan was ready to return. You know, they didn't want to go for any further except for a few crazy people there that wanted, wanted more, wanted more, wanted more. But uh, as it be, you know, the war was over. And I, I was discharged in 1946 in San Francisco. And that's the, uh, 
a part of the story. I've got a question for you, if you don't sure, mind. Sure. So you were an aircraft mechanic on the dive bombers? Yes. Okay, so, and you were, you guys were carrier-based or land-based? Land-based. The Marine Corps, Marine Corps took, uh, uh, I don't know how many planes they took from the Navy. The Navy uh, took the Hell Diver off the carriers and put the Dauntless on the carriers and made the uh, Hell Diver a land-based plane so they'd follow the light company, Marine Corps, going from all those islands I explained. So that's uh, because the uh, that's the they changed changed their you know strategy. So they made uh, one dive bomber off the carriers, the other land based. Okay. So did you ever get to fly? Yeah, I would. I flew with the with the pilots. Yeah, but ground crew, we had a gunner in the back, a radio man. You know, and we had occasion to fly. Heaven forbid, I don't know if you've ever been on a dive bomber. Um, <laughs> Most of us haven't. <laughs> it's a little bit different than Disneyland, I would say, you know, <laughs> just, you know, like that. So I, I would say it's not the fun ride. The pilots and the pilots then and the gunners, they were, oh, 21 years old. I was 18, you know, fighting the big war, you know, and. We just we just got up the uh, courage and just go forward and and survive and, and take and take uh, victory as it is, you know. I think that's kind of interesting for all of us here about um, how the Marine Corps had a little different idea that if you were a Marine, you were a Marine, and everybody's kind of a rifleman, and no matter what you did, but they need you as a rifleman. You're that's what you're going to do. And we have a gentleman with a question over here for you too. Majuro, that's our home base. Majuro in, uh, in the, uh, was the capital of the Marshall Islands there. Yeah, it became the capital of Marshall. Uh, that's where I was stationed a good part of the war. Uh, there are Majuro at all. Did you ever bomb Ailing Lap Lap? Yes, all the islands around Majuro, all those yeah. bypassed islands. We did not, we did not go to, uh, we would done a truck also. and. Uh, there was about there's about eight squadrons now, okay. not just one. I asked about Ailing Lap Lap. It was in the uh, would be in the eastern chain of the uh, Majuro uh, Atoll Island, and Ma Majuro was in the western chain. Yes. And I, uh, the reason I ask if you guys bombed that because I was in a party that went there to accept their surrender. Right. And believe me, you guys did a good job because there was hardly anything left. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was the intention of the dive bomber to follow the line company. And what they said, the bomb, we'd bomb it after they secured, you know, Majuro and all there because they had an airstrip there that we had to take. And uh, that's always the case in the Marine Corps. They say, you're gonna take something, you know, invade here and take that. You don't always say, we're gonna take it in three days. Everything is three days. <laughs> and the, the point was, you say three days, and then there's something that follows that. There's a plus, you know. You, th you think Iwo Jima was supposed to be a three to five day operation in 31 days. And uh, that, that's, the idea is victory. The Marine Corps, we don't back up, we don't do it. You take orders and uh, it's, uh, it's it's your duty, your duty. Would, you know that's all we did. I don't know. At 18 years old, at 18 years old, I don't think you feel anything. You, you just most of the, uh, the most of the pilots when they flew out of Majuro uh, to if they had assigned targets or hoped to find their target, if they couldn't find their assigned or expected target, then they would swing over Ailing Lap Lap and get rid of their bombs there because they didn't want to land with them on with them on. That's right, sir. Very, very, very good to meet you. Somebody from Majuro, my God, that's, that's a long time ago, you know. It's a small world. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it.